Once mobile shouldn't crash your entire application, but that's exactly what happens when JavaScript is through an arrow. Your whole application disappears. In my user select component, I threw an arrow when the page equals zero. And on the UI, when I click this avatar, that will trigger the user select to show up. And then because the page is initially zero and it will throw. And then let's see what it happens. Click and the whole page is gone. JavaScript arrows are catastrophic. One single unhandled error in any component can break down your entire React application. This happens because JavaScript is single-threaded. When an error occurs, it bobbed up and across the entire application. A bug in your header component shouldn't prevent users from using the rest of your application. This is a fundamental problem in system design. It has been resolved in operation systems for decades. Operation systems use process isolation. If one process crashes, it doesn't bring down the entire system. The pattern is always the same. We isolate the failures, prevent cascading errors. In front-end development, this means using error boundary to catch JavaScript errors and prevent them from crash the entire application. React error boundaries are based on the exactly same principle. They catch errors in their child component tree and display fallback UI instead of crashing. And then in the user select component again, we just wrap it around a error boundary and provide a fallback component. So if anything wrong with the user selector component, uh, which currently will throw whenever the page is zero, and when the component throw, we have the error boundary to catch the error and fallback to a simple UI. Let's see how it looks like in browser. So now if I click this again, instead of crashing the entire application, we fall back to a simpler UI here and the user can simply close the pop-up. If we don't handle the error in place, it will propagate to the up level component. That means in the parent component, uh, in column here, for example, we should wrap the card with another error boundary. When anything goes wrong in a card component, we still have a another layer of error boundary. And in the card component, let's remove this error boundary uh, temporarily. And then if we go back to the UI and we click this uh, to trigger the arrow to throw, and uh, we can see that we have a arrow says the card field to load. So it will prevent the entire application from crashing. Uh, we can still add new card. Uh, that was still working. And we can also you know, delete the card and so on and so forth. So the key insight here is isolate the failures. We prevent cascading errors. So we use arrow boundaries to catch JavaScript errors and display fallback UI instead of crashing your entire application. This is critical for production applications.